Syria. A sea attack of airstreak in Thursday, a princeism. Our top story this morning in retaliation for recent rocket attacks, the U.S. troops locations in Iraq. U.S. military launched an airstrike on facilities used by Iran-backed militia in eastern Syria. Syrian Observatory for Human Rights reported that 17 pro-Iran fighters have been killed in the first military action undertaken by the Biden administration. Now, the Pentagon spokesman, uh, John Kirby, has said in a statement that at President Biden's direction, U.S. military forces conducted airstrikes against infrastructure utilized by Iranian-backed militant groups in eastern Syria. Now, these strikes were authorized in response to recent attacks against American and coalition personnel in Iraq and uh, to ongoing threats to those personnel. Now, Kirby added that the move was de designed to de-escalate the situation in eastern Syria and Iraq. U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin has said intelligence developed by Iraqis helped in refining the target. We're confident in, uh, in the target that we went after. We know what we hit. Uh, and, uh, and we're confident that that target was being used by the same uh, Shia militia that, uh, that conducted the, the strikes. And so you'll get more information in terms of the effects of the strike this time, this time uh, goes by. But I just wanted to make sure that you know, I gave you uh, that viewpoint for me, that level of confidence that there is connectivity. And, uh, and so we're very deliberate about our approach, as you would expect us to be. Uh, we allowed uh, and encouraged the Iraqis to investigate and develop intelligence, and that was very helpful to us in refining the target. The director of Syrian Observatory for Human Rights reported the strikes destroyed three lorries carrying munitions and there were many casualties. Preliminary indications are that at least 17 fighters were killed, all members of popular mobilization forces. Now, the target was a border control point used by Iranian-backed armed Iraqi groups, including Qatayb Hezbollah and Saeed al Suhada. And the U.S. has blamed Qatayb Hezbollah for the numerous attacks targeting U.S. personnel and interests in Iraq in the past. Now, the strike was in retaliation of three rocket attacks on facilities in which, in Iraq, which are used by U.S. and coalition forces fighting the Islamic State group. Now, a rocket attack had targeted high security zone in Iraqi capital, that is home to the U.S. Embassy. One of those strikes on February 15th had killed a civilian and a foreign contractor working with coalition forces. Several U.S. contractors and a soldier were injured, Kirby said in Iraq, that Iraq is in charge of investigating the 15th February attack. As the U.S. opened a door to resume negotiations with Tehran over its nuclear program, the attacks in Iraq laid down a challenge, challenge to the new Biden administration and the groups involved in the attacks are believed to be operating under Iran's direction. Now, the Biden administration says it wants to revive the 2015 accord designed to freeze Iran's nuclear development. But it also sees Tehran as a continuing security threat across the Middle East. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.